All right, all right. So all this is like highly subject to be changed and moved. This up here, this actually came with a blue tip back in the um, 50s, a Gillette blue tip, the the light, the mild one, uh, came in a big case. And that, that it was all I was able to, to salvage was that the that is an LP inside and it's the sounds of a baseball game back when a lot of people weren't able to get sounds of a baseball game. Um, like we, you know, are able to do today. It was a promotion that Gillette did. My scooper from Wendell that he made by hand. That right there is something that I'm reviewing. I have it turned around. It is a, a beta test that I've been do, that I'm doing and have been doing. My wife and daughter. A love note for my wife. Our daughter up there. Kmart blades, menorah blades. Got two Spider-Man bath sets that my daughter gave me. Still trying to think of what I want to do with those in the video. My Metallica scoop. I'll be using that tomorrow. Oh, I already pulled it out. This is an old English leather cologne box. Inside it, I have my scoops. This is a bunch of different rock and roll bands. You can see Pink Floyd and Abbey Road. David Bowie's in there. I was trying to get Bowie to peek his head out. Come on, David. Don't be shy. Here is just basically some regular guitar picks along with an A shaving. And I think there might be a Sterling in that one. No, I think the Sterling is in here. I have my two PAA scoops. This guy here has superheroes. Um, so you got Deadpool and... Uh, Spider-Man on top. There's others in there. My Star Wars scoops. There's the Death Star. I don't want to take the time to pull them all out. And then in this one... Hold on a second. That is my Iron Man collection. It should be all Iron or Iron Man. I did it again. I said that in my video the other day. I called it Iron Man. My Iron Maiden. Yes, I know the difference. I'm just a, a ding dong. I do have an Iron Man scoop in there with my Spider Man and Deadpool. That's a future fiction deodorant sticker that I stuck on there. Got these knots from uh, Matthew Lawrence here recently. He sent me a killer mail call. I'll show you another thing I got from him. Um, this is the water of life right there. I highly swear by Soap Commander Carrie. Her um, moisturizing lotion also works great as a aftershave. Like literally, instead of using a balm, you can use that. I collect, well, I don't really collect. I only have two, but I have bought these at the coast. They're mustaches. Why? Because I can. I'm a ding dong. Dare I say that? The Oregon duck pumpkin. This is from the what we call a rotary duck race. They don't do these anymore. My soap commander collection. Down here I got my backups of blades. I'll show you where I actually draw my blades from. Down underneath here is tons of blades, modern and vintage. It goes all the way back to the wall. And here is my PAA solids and EDPs. Let me move this light. Sterling, uh, that tabak should probably put it down in the next drawer. Southern Witchcrafts, my Barrister and Man Seville. These are some of the little things that I've made with splashes in them. My solid from Macduff's. More colognes. Bunch of empty and not so empty um, sample things. I got samples all over the place. 
and sample vials from PAA. That's what's in all these bags right here. Elysian EDPs, Sutton and Origins from First Line, Kittawa, Valcrucis, Valcrucis Solid. Um, that's an empty F bombs. I got another F bombs up here. When it was going out, I stocked up on F bombs big time. English Laundry. I got two of these because I got this one super cheap, or maybe it's this other one at Marshall's. Another Elysian. These are empty deodorant containers that I've held on to just in case I want to use them for shave sticks or anything else. Inside here, these are poster boards for my um, shave of the day and mail call stuff that I do on Instagram. Bowls are in here. This bowl I'm giving away on behalf of Rodex. Um, my indestructible scuttle. One of my Rodak bowls there. This is the bowl that my son made for me when he was like in eighth grade or something. He's now 19. One of my stainless steel bowls. That's my sterling collapsible travel bowl. That my crown king. Yeah, the no, that's not the original. That's the second scuttle I believe that PAA came out with, and that's the original scuttle. Here is a scuttle that I bought off of West Coast Shaving. I don't think that's available anymore. Oh, don't close it yet, ding dong. Okay. Down in here, what this mostly is, it's kind of hard to see right now, is a bunch of cases, vintage cases, vintage razors, vintage uh, boxes, stuff I'm basically not using, but I'm holding on to in case I do need to use them. Whoop, wrong drawer. Inside here is more boxes that I have in there to be protected. More back in there. So that's basically all this is. I need to go through and fix that up. How are we doing on time? 22. All right, I need to wrap this up. Let's go faster. These are gems that I use. Mostly gems. They're Everettis, you know, but single edge gem types. These are some of my twist to open um, Gillette's. Most of my Mercurs. This is a vintage 37C. Modern 37C. Open combs that I use. This is not all of them. And here is different shave of the day stuff. This is what I normally keep in here. Um, stickers, different little things. And here is business cards. So in here is mostly props. This is kind of a dead drawer right now. For shave of the days. Some of my PAA razors. These are texts that I shave with. Not all of them you'll see in a minute. Down in here. So this is kind of another hodgepodge <laughs> drawer. We got you know, another box here, an open comb. Whole bunch of dispensers. That's what this mostly is, is dispensers. Gillette vintage, oops, sorry. Gillette vintage dispensers. This one here, woo! This one here is super rare. This is baby blue. That is a French dispenser. And you probably put it in something more protective. What's in here? Oh, this is uh, from my 1932 uh, Canadian tech. 1932 is not the year. That is the model number. My mom got that for me for Christmas a couple years ago. New old stock. So still need to put something in here. I've been redoing this. This is my uh, fall seasonals from PAA. My winter slash Christmas seasonals from PAA. You can see here, like I got this cover in it right now at the moment, but I have my soap, splash, soap, splash, and then the star jellies go with them. That's a... Uh, from my Burma Shave little travel Perazzo brush that the family got me part of that kit. 
So here we start running into sets that PAA sent me for review. So have them in order, um, well, based kind of in order of how I first received them. So Shape Chaser was the very first one. Champagne, I didn't put it back right. Used a different font for the black shroud. And then I have the splashes and the who's it's and the what's it's. That coin is the Oracle coin from the release of Droid Black. I love collecting all these different little things. Up top, you guys see that quite a bit. It's Pee Wee Herman. Inflatable lightsabers from a birthday party. My wife made me that Tobin shaved in. It's Don Mattingly, baseball player. Starting lineup or whatever they're called back when we were kids. Got this merit badge from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Willy Willy is something from my childhood. These are the brushes that are currently in my rotation. I have more inside the closet. My Bear Stern Man collection. My, most, my Sterling. That's a total mess of stuff right there. These are the blades that have come. That's like a deep storage. And then I bring them over here as these run out. Single edge. Down here, got that cartridge. So I've pulled a few of these things out. Like everything is still just a, a gold Atra with a wood handle. Oh, I didn't show you guys this. My cubes, pre-shave, alum sticks, etc. Noble Otter, Southern Witchcrafts. You can see I put the splashes behind them to protect them from light. Come over here to the closet. Always follow your dreams. PAA. These are all double PAAs. So here, like here's, I have the one uh, keepsake fruit cake over there. But here's all the keepsake fruit cakes going from the very first year is May 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22, with the splashes behind. These are extras. So this is what I was talking about, where I have more than one. I have all of these over behind me. You'll see that in a minute. Bunch of harvest moons. More extras of Phoenix Artisan, my pinnacle grooming. Up here is companies that are either gone, like Gone Gone. Most recently, we lost foam and shave it. There's a couple of exceptions. LNL Grooming is not gone. They changed their name. They are now Declaration Grooming. Subtle Art, Bricktown Grooming, and um, Razor Emporium. What's left of my Moon Soaps. Uh, what's right there? Oh, more Pinnacle. Sorry for the fast movement. Come down below, and here is razors that I'm working on. So you see these are all Gillette TTOs and some single ledges. More TTOs. These are my backups of Oro Valley. One soap, one splash, two EDTs. Some food storage. And here, whoop, come on lighting. And here is my backups of F-bombs. Is it on this drawer or this drawer? Yeah. 
adjustables. These are all ones that I'm working on to restore or need to be working on to restore. There's a bunch of techs. Total just hodgepodge of who's its and what's its. Food storage. And these boxes is where I keep like my deep storage of brushes. So I have a box of synthetics, two boxes of naturals, and one box that um, had PAA and other stuff in it. Here's one of my new pieces of furniture. Elysian soap and Terry's. More of my TTOs that I use. Coming down, we have uh, Murphy and McNeil, my soap from Sh um, Shave Supply, Hags, Alien Shave, uh, more techs that I actually shave with. One of them, this one, is the Psychotech. There's the key for it. First Line Shave and my stuff from First Tech, or from Hendrix Classic and Co., sorry. First Tech is a credit union <laughs> here in Oregon. Down here on the bottom is my Master Soap Creations. I have a, another one coming that is a Shave Dad collaboration. That is Louie. That should be here before too long. My thing for my daughter there, happy birthday. So all this is just a total wreck, right? One of my favorite brush fibers. If you guys have never tried the best Badger fiber from Simpson, I cannot recommend it enough. I love this X2 Commodore. Love it. Damn, it smells good. This is a old pipe. Tobacco pipe holder thing that I've repurposed for razors. Not all, but a bunch of my beard oils and butters. This is, I don't chew tobacco anymore. That is uh, dirt that's inside there from a baseball game, from a stadium that's now gone. Went down on the field and stole some of the infield dirt. So down in here is the deodorants that I'm using. Soap from PAA that I'm using. Bath bars and stuff. Like here's Honor over here in this box. This is all bath bar uh, stuff. I'll show you guys some of that in a video. These are all bath bars and different things for an upcoming video. Down in here, um, I mostly have like tools and stuff for cleaning up razors. That's when the, what's in those boxes. The exception of this one is PAA collectible stuff. Down here, I got a bunch of toys and different gadgets and stuff for doing... Um, shave of the day photos that like I was doing on Instagram and then different cleaning supplies and whatnot for razors, food storage things. I've been setting my, uh, camera on top of the, for the briar and for the, just one riot. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi. I've had this since I was a little kid, like little, little, made in 1977. Heavy, 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 heavy. I love that thing. And one time I'd actually, when I was a kid, you can still see it a little bit. I gave him a bloody nose with some makeup, like Halloween makeup. I still need to move this stuff around. It's just how I have it set up at the moment. All this is like subject to change. It's the travel mirror right there for future fiction. Made both of those shave sticks. I'm not sure this just has more of the flare tips in it. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to end up doing that. That has diver down in it. Shave chaser. Diver down stick. I, I bought that like that. Diver down Phone case for my old phone. That's the travel cases that you can buy. Boomtown. I have all three labels. I love Boomtown. That is a shave stick that I made right here. So that's the shampoo and conditioner sticker. And then that is the deodorant sticker. That candle was gifted to me from Matthew Lawrence. That candle was gifted to me from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. That's the whole brush collection. 
Potomac HB rum in the jug. Another atomic rocket. There's another atomic rocket right there. Those are the ones that have the old logo on the bottom. That one has the new logo on it. You can see the tub of cella there, right there in the middle, the red one. That's because Doug makes cella cool, and so cella cool is right there with it. And then right now, I have my Macduffs, and then all the, uh, not all, but most of the mugs that I've been using for my Willet Lather series. Got this dude hanging for the time being. Halloween. It's like Spectre thing. Yeah. So what do you think? Holy crap, this video. I might have to do this. 36 minutes. Thanks for joining me in this hella long video that should not have been so damn hella long. Maybe I'll do it in two parts where I do my little ramble there at the beginning and then do my little den tour. Y'all take care. I'm going to wrap it up right now because I did not realize it had gone this long. If you're still watching, hey, how you doing? Thank you. Um, shoot, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's little big things like, uh, listening to Tobin ramble. Hope it was a good one. Oh, see, I didn't even show you this. That's a, this dispenses full size Pez. I think I need to put batteries in them, but like you open them up and it doesn't just dispense one little Pez. It would just, dis it dispenses a whole package of Pez. My hero, Oscar the Grouch, and also Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> you guys take care. I'm still rambling. See you next time.